Hey guys, today we have a Rolex unboxing, a very unexpected Rolex unboxing. I just happened to see my Rolex 18 Vegas last week and it was a very unexpected trip. We had to go for business purposes and every time I go to Vegas, I stop by two people, my Rolex 80 and my Automobile Piguet 80. And we always just chat it up. This time I was not expecting to be offered anything, but he did want to check off another item on my list. And I honestly, I didn't even tell him that was coming. I saw him on Wednesday. This piece was offered to me on Thursday, left Vegas on Friday. <laughs> so it was very, very quick, very unexpected and very surprising. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the unboxing. So here is the bag. It is in a black bag, but that's because the Rolex bag is hidden inside. Ta -da! All right. So inside the bag, we have a few items that we're going to take out. Every time I buy a Rolex, uh, he gives me a little gift. I think you should be offered a gift every single time you buy a Rolex for buying something that's so expensive. So this time I took the umbrella. It is a Rolex umbrella. It's an automatic umbrella with a push right here. And it does say Rolex here and here. So once you, I haven't opened it yet, but after you open it up, it should just be a very simple deep green umbrella with two Rolex symbols on each opposite end. So that's that. And also you should be giving given a uh, travel pouch. So my travel pouch is in green this time. Usually it's in brown, but I think they changed up the color to green. So it's going to be in this beautiful green pouch. You just open it up like so, and then the watch goes in. So they should give you these um, whenever you're buying a Rolex. If they don't, you should definitely ask for one. Um, there's nothing you know, shameful or whatever about asking for freebies because you're spending so much money on these pieces. So why not? All right. Now I do have a boob on my finger, so I'm going to put on some gloves and show you guys the Rolex piece because it's just not attractive with a bandaid on my finger. All right. Give me one second. And here it is, the Rolex box. So it's just a cover right here. And then we are going to take the box out. The box, like any other Rolex box, will have the Rolex symbol embossed right here. It is a off-white color box. So if you get any other box, mm -mm, don't take it. All right, now we're gonna open it. And inside is my invoice. And let's open this baby up. The box always opens like this. It does say Rolex right here on the bottom. The box is a beautiful green box right here with like kind of like a wave on it and the Rolex symbol right here. And on the back of the box, it should say like Rolex Geneva Swiss. Mm -hmm. And we're going to open it up. All right, so this is your Rolex tag and there is a link that I took out already because it was a little big on me. So once you open up the box, you will see this little notch right here. If you pull it out, oh, ouch. If you pull it out, you will have two things in there. One will be your booklet and the other one would be your authentication card with your serial number and the date of purchase. Now, this is a 2023 Rolex Daytona in the two-tone color with the gold or champagne dial. So he did offer me a few Daytonas but I decided to go with the one with the two-toned and the champagne back because if I was to just take the oyster steel one with the white face, 
which I think they call it the panda. Um, it was a little too masculine for me. I tried it on. It was too masculine. And on top of that, it was, I believe it was with the Jubilee bracelet that I'm not a very big fan of. So I actually declined that one. Um, and he also had um, a few other pieces that he was offering to me. But I decided to go with the Daytona because the Daytona is one that was on my wish list. And I just fell in love with the gold back because it does give it more of a feminine touch. He also asked me if I like the white one with the white face, like the same two tone with the white face. Mm -mm, I, I didn't like it. I like the gold one. Um, it just fits a little bit better when I wear it with my skin tone. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in detail, all right? So in the back, there is the Rolex crown and you open it up just like any other Rolex, except for the Datejust and I think the Date Day. So you click it up right here and then you click it down right here and it just opens up very smooth. There is an adjustment right here. So you could pull it out and give yourself a whole extra five millimeter. So in the summertime, our wrist tends to swell up a little bit. So the little extra millimeter without taking out a whole link is actually really appreciated. And then the winter time when your wrist, you know, gets a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and tighten it up a little bit. Same five millimeter. All right, so let's take a look. Every single Rolex on the buckle right here will say Rolex and then Geneva and Swiss made. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the watch itself. It does have the crown right here where the dial is, and then you do have two notches. So the two notches right here is for the stopwatch for the racing, because it is a Daytona, and the over here is the reset button. So if we take a look at it, right, this dials and changes time the same way as any other Rolex. Um, I do have a Samariner date and a date just so because this one doesn't have the date on it it is one notch less to open up because we don't have to adjust the date now for the stopwatch itself which is the little notch right up here you would have to unscrew it on the top and unscrew it on the bottom now if you're not going to go swimming or go any near water or go near the water um you could leave it unscrewed but if you forget to screw it back on and you are going to go into the water, your watch will have water damage, 100%. Your watch will have water damage. So make sure just to screw it back on. It takes two seconds. This is the 2023 version. Rolex came out with a 2023 version of the Daytona and, you know, the Oyster Steel, the Two-Tone, so in every single one. Um, and I decided to take it in the Two-Tone. I'm not quite sure what is the difference. There, there are quite a little bit of differences when I was reading up online. And I was looking at the old one versus the new one. And I do like the new one. It is a little bit more dressier compared to the old one. So if you take a look at the old one, the dials are a little bit different. Um, I, I can't explain. I think they're a little bit thinner. Like the black circle is a little bit thinner. All right, so I'm gonna just reverse the camera. And I'm going to show you guys this a little bit more up close and personal.